Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. Today I want to share with you my favorite tool for creating ISO to USB files and uh, or images. And so we're going to talk about a few options there, but then I'm going to go in and share with you SUSE Studio Image Writer, which happens to be my favorite tool. So uh, back in the day, you had to put an ISO image and burn that onto a disk. And it was a little time consuming, but today if you plan on installing Linux, and also for convenience, I think the best way to do that is via USB flash drive. Now there's nothing wrong with installing Linux in a virtual drive and, and using it that way, but for me, when I'm doing videos, I like to install it on the hardware and get the kind of the real feel as it is installed and uh, so but there are other reasons too I mean USB flash drives are very cheap today so you can afford to have multiple flash drives with multiple versions of Linux running but it's also a great tool to have around maybe you've got a friend who's interested in Linux and you can boot into a live environment from the USB flash drive and show your friend why Linux rocks or I have used uh, when or excuse me I've used Linux to save Windows users before with the disk tools that you can uh, use from Linux. I've saved myself, uh, so it's a handy, to handy thing to have around. And uh, again, USB flash makes it very easy. So let's jump in and take a look at a few options, and then I want to share with you Sue Studio Image Writer. All right, so one of the more popular uh, applications is UNet Booten. Now, UNet Booten is, is a tool that I've had mixed results with. I haven't used it in several months. Maybe there have been updates since then. Uh, but I get mixed results, and what I mean by that is oftentimes the distribution would either not boot into the live environment, and then I would burn it with a, another tool and have a you know, better outcome. Uh, or sometimes I would get into the install process and get a failure only to find out again using another tool to burn the ISO image that it, you know, I'm basically was equating it to uh, UNet Booten. So, um, you know, again, uh, try it out. It's free. It works with most Linux distributions. And, uh, you know, there could have been updates and things that are in play now that I'm not aware of. Uh, so anyway, that's certainly one to look at. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're running an Ubuntu-based distribution, chances are you're going to have disk tools pre-installed, and from that you would use the Startup Disk Creator. Now, I've had excellent results with that. It's, uh, it's a very good tool. It works fast. Never had any problems with it. So again, if you're running an Ubuntu-based distribution, that would be the tool you would use. If you are running Windows, and I am currently Windows free in my household, we're running 100% Linux, but uh, back in the day when I had a Windows machine, I used a tool called Rufus. Now Rufus is uh, very light, light on system resources. It's updated frequently, and Rufus never failed me, not once. So I highly recommend that if you're running Windows. All right, well, let's take a look now at SUSE Studio Image Writer. I am currently running as my daily driver, Antergos KDE Edition 5.8.2. And so to install that, you could go into Add Remove Software. And from there, uh, if you do a search for Image Writer, you will find image writer dash git now the particular version that I'm running now is 2015 0521-3 now if you happen to pull that up in the AUR you'll get two versions one is version 1.10.14 and the other is the version I just mentioned that I'm running 2015 0521-3 now the previous version, 1.10, does not work or did not work for me, so that's why I want to point this out. Once you have it installed, you simply go over and launch the application um, under System. You'll find it under System if you're running KDE. Or you can run it from the actual image itself. So we'll go into Downloads. In this case, uh, it will be Chalet OS. So you could simply right click and say open with and then choose Sue Studio Image Writer. So that's an option. If you've launched the application, now you've got a couple of choices. You could drag that ISO over uh, to this area and uh, it will load it and get it ready to load for, uh, for processing. Or you can simply uh, click to select. 
Now, before you do that, because we live in a world with multiple backup devices and things like that via USB, I would just say to make sure that you have the proper device or flash drive selected. So I would hate for you to uh, write over your backup device that's connected via USB, for example. So in this case, uh, that's a generic flash disk, and I know that uh, the size of that is 16 um, or excuse me, is um, 16 gigabyte, and I can tell from this file size that that is the correct device. Plus, it's the only one I have that I can write to, so that makes it easy. Anyway, so just make sure you're choosing the right device. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and select our image, <clears throat> and you'll see here that it has loaded, so uh, Chalet OS 16042, so uh, that is the 64 byte version. And at this point, all you have to do is select right. It's going to ask you if you're sure. And you'll, you'll have to uh, type in your authentication. Now, the process typically only takes a few minutes. It depends on the size of the ISO. Uh, so, um, you know, your mileage may vary as well. Uh, if you're running this via USB 3.0 with a 3.0 flash disk or flash drive, you'll find that your writing time could be much faster. So again, the process is pretty straightforward. SUSE Studio Image Writer is the tool that I have just been the most successful with. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's the best, and no matter what, this is the one you have to use. I just wanted to share this with you because it's never failed me, and it's you know a, a, a fairly current version is readily available uh, within my Arch-based distribution, and uh, you know thought maybe this would be helpful for, helpful to others out there. And if you're new to Linux. Um, you know, this is a process where you'll find lots of resources that step you through how to do this. And pretty much what I showed you here is, is uh, one process. And again, you, uh, if you're running Windows, then, um, you know, there are multiple tools on Windows that you can use uh, for this same process. So hope this helps. And uh, check out some other videos there with Linux Quest. And I want to try to focus more on useful uh, tools and things like that in the future. And so stay tuned for more. Thank you.